Capronis avium, commonly called wild cherry, sweet cherry, bird cherry, or gene, is a species of cherry native to Europe, Anatolia, Malb, and Western Asia, from the British Isles south to Morocco and Tunisia, north to the Trondheimad region in Norway and east to the Caucasus and northern Iran, with a small disjunct population in the western Himalaya. This species, in the rose family, has a diploid set of 16 chromosomes. All parts of the plant except for the ripe fruit are slightly toxic, containing cyanogenic glycosides. Nomenclature The early history of its classification is somewhat confused. In the first edition of Species Plentrum, Linnaeus treated it as only a variety, Punus cerasus var. Avium, citing Gaspard Boyne's Pinax theatri botanici as a synonym. His description Ceracis racemosa hortensis shows it was described from a cultivated plant. Linnaeus then changed from a variety to a species Punus avium in the second edition of his Flora suesica in 1755. Sweet cherry was known historically as Jean or Mazard, until recently, both were largely obsolete names in modern English. The name wild cherry is also commonly applied to other species of Punus growing in their native habitats particularly to the North American species Punus cerotina. Punus avium means bird cherry in the Latin language. In English bird cherry often refers to Punus pedus. Mazard, more recently mazard has been used to refer to a selected self-fertile cultivar that comes true from seed, and which is used as a seedling rootstock for fruiting cultivars. This term is still used particularly for the varieties of P. avium grown in North Devon and cultivated there particularly in the orchards at Landke. Description and Ecology Punus avium is a deciduous tree growing to 15 a euro 32 m tall, with a trunk up to 1.5 a m in diameter. Young trees show strong apical dominance with a straight trunk and symmetrical conical crown, becoming rounded to irregular on old trees. The bark is smooth purplish-brown with prominent horizontal grey-brown lenticels on young trees becoming thick dark blackish brown and fissured on old trees. The leaves are alternate, simple ovoid acute, 7 a euro 14 a cm long and 4 a euro 7 a cm broad, glabrous matte or sub shiny green above, variably finely downy beneath, with a serrated margin and an acuminate tip, with a green or reddish petial to a euro 3.5 a cm long bearing 2 to 5 small red glands. The tip of each serrated edge of the leaves also bear small red glands. In autumn, the leaves turn orange, pink or red before falling. The flowers are produced in early spring at the same time as the new leaves, born in corymbs of two to six together, each flower pendant on a 2 a euro 5 a cm peduncle, 2.5 a euro 3.5 a cm in diameter, with five pure white petals, yellowish stamens, and a superior ovary. They are hermaphroditic, and pollinated by bees. The fruit is a droop 1 a euro 2 a cm in diameter, bright red to dark purple when mature in midsummer, edible, variably sweet to somewhat astringent and bitter to eat fresh. Each fruit contains a single hard-shelled stone 8 a euro 12 um long, 7 a euro 10 um wide and 6 a euro 8 um thick, grooved along the flattest edge. The seed inside the stone is 6 a euro 8 um long. The fruit are readily eaten by numerous kinds of birds and mammals, which digest the fruit flesh and disperse the seeds in their droppings. Some rodents, and a few birds, also crack open the stones to eat the kernel inside. All parts of the plant except for the ripe fruit are slightly toxic, containing cyanogenic glycosides. See also list of Lepidoptera that feed on Punus. The leaves provide food for some animals including Lepidoptera such as the case bearer moth Coleophora and Atapenella. The tree exudes a gum from wounds in the bark, by which it seals the wounds to exclude insects and fungal infections. Cultivation and Uses Fruit Some 18th and 19th century botanical authors assumed a Western Asia origin for the species based on the writings of Pliny. However, archaeological finds of seeds from prehistoric Europe contradict this view. Wild cherries have been an item of human food for several thousands of years. The stones have been found in deposits at Bronze Age settlements throughout Europe, including in Britain. In one dated example, 
wild cherry macro fossils were found in a core sample from the detritus beneath the dwelling at an early and middle Bronze Age pile dwelling site on and in the shore of a former lake at Desenzano del Garda or Lenato, near the southern shore of Lake Garda, Italy. The date is estimated at early Bronze Age IA, carbon dated there to 2077 BC plus or minus 10 years. The natural forest was largely cleared at that time. By 800 BC, cherries were being actively cultivated in Asia Minor, and soon after in Greece. As the main ancestor of the cultivated cherry, the sweet cherry is one of the two cherry species which supply most of the world's commercial cultivars of edible cherry. Various cherry cultivars are now grown worldwide wherever the climate is suitable. The number of cultivars is now very large. The species has also escaped from cultivation and become naturalized in some temperate regions, including southwestern Canada, Japan, New Zealand, and the northeast and northwest of the United States. Ornamental, it is often cultivated as a flowering tree. Because of the size of the tree, it is often used in parkland, and less often as a street or garden tree. The double flowered form, Polina, is commonly found rather than the wild single-flowered forms. Two interspecific hybrids, PX Schmitter and PX Fontanziana are also grown as ornamental trees. Timber, the hard, reddish-brown wood is valued as a hard wood for wood turning, and making cabinets and musical instruments. Cherry wood is also used for smoking foods, particularly meats, in North America, as it lends a distinct and pleasant flavor to the product. Other uses, the gum from bark wounds is aromatic and can be chewed as a substitute for chewing gum. Medicine can be prepared from the stalks of the dupes that is astringent, antitussive, and diuretic. A green dye can also be prepared from the plant. Contribution to other species, Pornus avium is thought to be one of the parent species of Pornus cerasus by way of ancient crosses between it and Pornus fruticosa in the areas where the two species overlap. All three species can breed with each other. Pornus cerasus is now a species in its own right having developed beyond a hybrid and stabilized. Cultural history, Pliny distinguishes between Pornus, the plum fruit, and cerasus, the cherry fruit. Already in Pliny quite a number of cultivars are cited, some possibly species or varieties, Aproniana, Lutatia, Caesiliana, and so on. Pliny grades them by flavor including Dulcis and Aza. He goes so far as to say that before the Roman consul Lucius Licinius Lucullus defeated Mithridates in 74 BC, Cerasia. Non fuere in Italia, there were no cherry trees in Italy. According to him, Lucullus brought them in from Pontus and in the 120 years since that time they had spread across Europe to Britain. Although cultivated slash domesticated varieties of Pornus avium did the Euro unregistered trademark tea exist in Britain or much of Europe, the tree in its wild state is native to most of Europe, including Britain. Evidence of consumption of the wild fruits has been found as far back as the Bronze Age at Acranog in County Offaly, in Ireland. Seeds of a number of cherry species have however been found in Bronze Age and Roman archaeological sites throughout Europe. The reference to sweet and sour supports the modern view that sweet was Pornus avium. There are no other candidates among the cherries found. In 1882 Alphonse de Candel pointed out that seeds of Pornus avium were found in the Terramere culture of North Italy and over the layers of the Swiss pile dwellings. Of Pliny's statement he says, Since this error is perpetuated by its incessant repetition in classical schools, it must once more be said that cherry trees existed in Italy before Lucullus, and that the famous gourmet did not need to go far to seek the species with the sour or bitter fruit. De Candole suggests that what Lucullus brought back was a particular cultivar of Pornus avium from the Caucasus. The origin of cultivars of P. avium is still an open question. Modern cultivated cherries differ from wild ones in having larger fruit, to a Euro 3 cm diameter. The trees are often grown on dwarfing rootstocks to keep them smaller for easier harvesting. References